When you look at what Franklin Templeton did strategically saying, okay, if we are going to be a leader in blockchain and we believe that this technology is going to become the back-end rails for the financial system, it's important that we understand this space entirely. And so what that means is, you know, a lot of today code is your counterparty risk as well as the company behind it. But in blockchain, smart contract code is your counterparty risk. And so specifically what Franklin Templeton did, they said, we're going to create a unit. That unit's going to report directly to the CEO, akin on par to, you know, our traditional bond and equity and macro funds. As well as that, we're going to actually build in the space. So digital infrastructure, that means we've got a team of dedicated engineers that are out there building smart contract code, understanding the cryptography so that we don't fall victim to these end of address attacks that we're seeing. Two, making sure we run nodes as a service because that's a critical piece of the infrastructure, not only to support the ecosystem, but to understand what's actually going on on chain. And all of this flows back to the investing side. So the venture team, we benefit from the engineers as well as the data. We also act as a leading edge detector of where these technologies are moving, uh, what the latest advances in the space are, and relay that back to engineers as well as infrastructure and the token team does the same right and so obviously token to a certain degree is is a new capital asset however you want to frame it and value it but it's something that needs to be respected and understood if you're going to be working with the sec